Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, I gotta turn down that background music. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to uh, to another stream here on uh, on our our Dev Cycle uh, Twitch. X, YouTube, all of the places. Uh, my name's Andrew. I'm so excited that you are here with me today uh, for one of my favorite streams uh, that, that we've started in the last little while uh, called Does It Toggle? Uh, does It Toggle, the stream where we find out does a hot new technology, uh, does it toggle, can you add feature flags to it? And then can you do that using the DevCycle platform? Uh, now, if you've never been here before, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Andrew, uh, developer advocate with DevCycle, um, and, uh, and I, I always like to start off these, these streams with a whole bunch of honesty in that I, um, am, uh, am like a hobbyist developer. So every time that we do these streams, it really is an exploration with sort of a novice who is just kind of exploring some of these new technologies. And I always try to give this as authentic of an experience experience as possible by doing like just a little bit of background work just so I kind of know what I'm doing when I get into this but not a huge amount so that we can kind of experience these new technologies together. Now on today's stream we are gonna be looking at let me get my banner up here where is it hiding Ah, there we go. Welcome to the talk. Uh, we're going to be looking at a really cool technology called HTMX. It's all, it's all the, uh, it's the new hotness right now. Um, we're going to see if we can add feature flag. We're going to see how it works. We're going to explore the documentation. We're going to see some online videos. Uh, I've got an awesome streaming setup today. I've got like multiple, like, like three monitors, which I never have. Uh, so we're going to be able to like actually have some fun. I'll know what's going on. I'll be able to see chat and everything else. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of hang out for the next like hour and a bit and kind of look at this technology. Maybe we'll get to adding dev cycle to it. Maybe not. Um, but that's what this is about. This stream is just about kind of having uh, having some fun uh, and and exploring and and for me to actually chat with all of you. So if you're here in chat on um, on X or on on YouTube or on Twitch, um, feel free to throw a question my way. Um, I am here for you. But what I also want to make sure is that my audio is in fact working. So I'm going to head over here. Oh good, my audio is working fine. I can see myself over here on YouTube. Um, I also wanna make sure that my, uh, the music is okay at like the this the, the um, background music that it was at. So I'm just gonna pull up YouTube again and you're not gonna see this. Although maybe you can, maybe you should be, maybe you should watch this with me too. The joys of like figuring out how streaming works. So I'll present my, uh, my far screen as I'm doing this so you can come along on my adventure here. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. All right, and we're gonna check out this. Look, that's me. All right, let's see how this audio sounds. How does it sound? Well, that's good, actually, it's not bad. All right, so we're gonna stop that. Uh, but since we do have our window open over here, um, much as I would love to look at myself, I don't think that's really what you're here for. So let's um, let's pull up the HTMX docs and start to check things out. So um, I will say also, if this is your first time on the stream, uh, this is like a fairly free flowing stream. Things might happen that we do not expect. Uh, so just expect the unexpected today. Um, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully this is, uh, this is sort of an interesting stream for all of you to kind of see what, what this tech is, uh, what this tech is all about. So let's, uh, let's pull this open. Um, all right. All right. So here it is, uh, HTMX. Um, oh, well, that's nice. I didn't know they'd been accepted into the accelerator. I hear there's a bunch of very cool projects that are in this accelerator too. I don't know if anybody's heard of this, but basically really cool open source projects can get accepted in here. Link free. Uh, so Eddie Jayud is an awesome, awesome uh, uh, DevRel um, 
advocate, uh, also has been working with as a GitHub star for a while, but he created Link3, which is now BioDrop and very cool project. And look at that, HTMX is in here as well. So some very, very cool stuff. Form Bricks, also a big fan of Form Bricks as well. They're doing some cool stuff. Uh, but we're not here for the GitHub Accelerator. We are here for HTMX. So let's see what's going on here. So HTMX, let me turn this down a little bit. For me uh HTMX gives you access to ajax css transitions web sockets server set events directly in html using attributes you can build modern user interfaces with simplicity and power of hypertext 14k min dependency free ie 11 compatible goodness reduce code base size by 67 percent compared to react so i will be very honest um, going into the stream, one of the reasons that I'm really attracted to HTMX is because I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos talking about how this sort of solves, um, solves a lot of the, the complexity that's come with modern web development. And so I am interested in trying it out. Also, I love Alpine. And if you caught our last, my last stream, you'll know that um, I'm a big Alpine JS fan. Um, and so I wanna see this. If I never have to actually engage with like vanilla JavaScript or like an intense JavaScript framework, I am very happy. That said, there are some, I'm gonna explore some more JavaScript, JavaScript frameworks as we kind of go through. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a bunch of dozen toggle streams. All right, so motivation, why should we move? Uh, why should only A and form field? I agree. I totally agree. I actually was looking at this the other day. I use, I do a lot in Alpine. Like I'll turn, I'll use Alpine to do this or Livewire because uh, that's part of my stack as well. Um, and I'll use those to do a lot of this stuff. So that's very cool. Why should you only click and submit events, trigger them, agree. Why should only get and post methods be available? Why should you only be able to replace the entire screen? Why should you, I don't, I'm not sure about this one. But yeah, I agree. I'm also, okay, so this is very cool. Hypertext is like a very cool concept that I don't think gets enough love. So like, I, I want to check that out, but I don't want to check that out. All right, so let's do a quick start. Um, and we're actually gonna do this, but I'm also going to, in a different window, open up my Slack uh, that y'all aren't gonna be able to see, but everybody else will be able to see. All right, let's go here. I'm doing a lot of things off to the side right now uh, that y'all don't need to see, but uh, you can if you want to. All right, let's do this over here. All right, let me close this, delete message. Okay, um, what are we doing here? Okay, I'm gonna close this. I don't need this anymore, uh, but I do need this. And I've got my quick start here that you've been looking at for the past couple of minutes. So let's, um, ba, 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 ba. okay, we're gonna do Replit again. I, 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 so I'm using Replit on a lot of these, not because it's like necessarily the best platform, but because I just, I like Replit. Um, it's a smooth way to get started with things. We can use VS Code, maybe we will, uh, but for today, we're just gonna use Replit. I think I set up last week. I think I was using this one last week, wasn't I? Yeah, it does a toggle, there we go. All right, let's create another REPL here. Let's call this one. Yeah, and I wanna do it just here, just like plain HTML. All right, does it toggle HTMX? Because the other nice thing here is I can share this really easily. All right. Here we are, welcome to Repl. If you never used Repl before, check it out. Um, great cloud-based IDE. Uh, okay, we don't care about any of this stuff. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Mm, I might keep that. Mm, do I wanna keep that? I don't want that. I definitely don't need any of that. We might get rid of that. Okay, we might keep these things just for now. Replit, uh, does it toggle? All right, and let's run this and it should update there. And then we're actually just gonna go and grab their, the code sample that they gave. Oh, yikes, no, I wanna go back in here. All right, let's grab this code sample here that they gave us and see if this will work straight out of the box. Ba, ba, 
my body script. Do I have that in the head or does it matter? Oh, we're gonna put it in the head anyways. Okay, click me. It worked. We did a post request. Unfortunately, there is no uh, clicked endpoint, so not super helpful for us. But I love that it worked. Uh, amazing. I don't know if you would necessarily want to give something that wouldn't work right away, but uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I mean, that was quack. That was fast. That was quast. That was quasanted. All right, let's jump in here. All right, and let's go over to our docs again. All right, quick start. It takes pose, it swap. Okay, when a user clicks this button in an Ajax to click and replace the entire button with the HTML response. So it didn't do that. Because that should have shown 404, I think. HTML is that successor to intercooler oh oh that's cool Inter I've never heard of intercooler before I wonder if there's other examples in here no longer up to date uh, docs introduction book neat that's kind of fun made in Montana I love that all right let's go over into the HTMX documentation Introduction. Uh, HX in a nutshell. Look at an anchor tag. Yes. Yes. Considering a bit of HTML. Clicked. When you use it, click this button. You should post request to click to use the content and response to replace the element. But I mean, I think this is basically what we're doing here. I think we already did this. I mean, it was just a little bit more. exactly the same. Uh, swap post. I mean, I'm interested. Uh, let's grab this same structure. I don't think this is going to work, but you never know. Target error. Oh, target error. Target error. Trigger click swap. Network empty head console. Okay, what was our original example here? Maybe I should go back and use this because I feel like this was working. It's just making a 404 error. Yes, run. Okay, so it's still it's still not seeing that endpoint, which is fine because it's supposed it's not it's not a navigation error. Okay, uh, blog. You take this very well. You should get requests to the blog and load the response into the browser window. Post request. Oh, can I do ht get? I mean, I don't need to, but I'm interested if I can. I don't think this HX swap is necessary. No. Fair. All right, let's head back to the docs. Uh, okay. And it was Chris that clicked the content and response to replace the element with the parent div in the DOM. Da, 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 no, any element, I'm just thinking the forms can issue an HTTP request. Now any event, not just clicks, can trigger requests. Now any HTTP verb, not just getting post can be used. Data HX post. Now the, 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 on the server side, you typically respond with HTML, not JSON. Server side, 
on the search site to restart HTML. This keeps you firm than the original web programming model. The original web programming model. Ah, I see. We're not going to look at that right now. So, a dependency free script by CDN reads you CDN right now. Download copy. We're not going to do that. We're not going to npm install. We're not going to webpack. We're not doing any of these things. Get issues a get request to the given URL. Put request. So it does actually have okay, not bound. So that's because maybe this is always maybe this always works this way just because of the nature of this being a simple. It's interesting. The simpler the concept, the less simple it is. Should I be basic Node.js project so that I can actually not have to worry about the .html or just change this to click to .html. I don't, know, I don't know if that'll work. Okay, it worked. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, that tracks though, that tracks. I get this. All right, so then we can refresh this and it's gonna bring us back here. Click me and then it's gonna replace because that's what it's doing. It's replacing. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go back to docs. Report messages, triggering requests, mouse entered, here, mouse here, host, mouse entered, other modifiers, delay. I mean, it's very simple. It's just like a lot of Ajax stuff. Oops, it's getting an error. I wonder if it will now. Run, refresh. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that tracks, so it gets a positive response. It doesn't need any response. Okay, four fours. Okay, I like that. I'm probably gonna go back and move away from this being a HTML, JavaScript. I mean, it's fine, but I don't think it's, I mean, we're going to see, because I guess we aren't doing navigation between things. Synchronization. <laughs> oh, boy.
I like that. These are just like some really simple things that are actually fairly hard to implement if you're not doing it yourself. Okay. Like that like little like confirmation thing. Like normally you'd have to do this with JavaScript, which is not like, it's not hard. Like a lot of these things are built in, but actually do anything see this run yeah I know there's no target there indicators target swapping website ooh website Socket connection, server sentiments. Can you just put each and just snapshot the current DOM and store it for it? It does. Hey now. I like that. Disabling history snapshots. Validation. Oh, nice. Okay, validate my values. Foo, call me, do another value. All right, let's try this out. Do validation. This is a nice a validation process, actually. JavaScript, just use JSON coding, morph dot of morph, client side class tools, multi swap, events and login. Okay, that's cool. Configure your request for events, modify and swap in behavior, login, demo example. What's this a demo example of? Go to action. Demo script, the HTMX hyperscript uh, request mocking library. Okay, let's try this. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a nice, so we can define global in zero template delay 500. Interesting, so they've defined that. script, uh, unscripting language. 
hyper talk. I've never heard of some of these things before. What's hyperscript? This is the one they have to do hyperscript later. That yeah, will be later. Button on click send. On click send hello to form. What? way hold on okay so apparently we're doing a hyperscript day today too i don't know do i do this no no we're gonna do this later we're gonna do hyperscript as our next one of these desert toggles because i i really like this so hyperscript is for our next stream i gotta make a note of that somewhere all right we're already with the book we're back to the docs hyperscript Cooler, we already talked about that. Do we care? Not really. Caching. Okay, that's fine. Security. Security. Disable history events. CSP configuring. Click on quite a bit. Oh, that's quite a bit. Oh, here we go. Wide variety of server-side languages. UI examples have UX patterns implemented with minimal HTML and styling. Infinite scroll file upload animation. Okay, I want to try this. I mean, I gotta have this colors. Oh, it's showing it in here. I see. Toggle demo. So if you've never used or seen Hotwire Turbo, this is, I think it's a Ruby thing originally, uh, but it's basically to give you like single page app functionality. Check private body. Um, but uh, it's not super clean to be able to work sortable where do you actually call that library sortable is like a very interesting i actually just added it to another project and i really like sortable but we're not looking at sortable today i need to set up some of these endpoints or some endpoints confirm examples there's gotta be some other cool examples that we can kind of play around with i want to figure out what we're gonna build we're gonna build something i mean there's lots of examples there so obviously we need some sort of a basic api uh, examples <laughs> just look up examples andrew uh examples htmx server side examples Search Hacker News. Oh, 
Google Stack Applications, Counter App, JSON HTML, Tools, Craft CMS Plugin, CPMF. I guess I am. Am I going to need to run? I need a project time limitation. I need some recent events. To do MVC. Django. Ajax enable checkbox. Rapid prototyping. What do we got here? User one. Click me. Okay, let me look. It's clever. Why am I not thinking of that using like a public API? A uh, duh. All right, hold on. Um, public APIs. Board API. All of the APIs. Hey, if you're if you're just showing up, welcome. We're exploring HTMX, but we need some APIs to play around with. Chuck Norris. API. Do you get an image? Species URL. Power. No. All right. What else do we got? API. Yes, we know what APIs are. Board numbers API. Dog API. <sighs> I love this. Yes. All right. We've got this. Yeah, get. HTTPS, button, get. Oh, it's because I, do I remove? Oh no, there it is, it's fine. Oh, that's probably why. Getting back. Good. Samples. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the stream. We're just we're playing around with. Uh, 
we're playing around with HTMX. We're not quite in even to the dev cycle. I'm just literally playing around to try and see how it works right now. Um, hopefully you will enjoy with me. Load, replace main context. Okay, as I thought, get, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then this should load right in. Okay. Okay, I'm in trouble that. Hold the I wonder about myself and whether I should be doing this. Let me do this. And then should I do... Actually, let me grab this dog API. No. Uh, back. If I trade this out... same error here yeah oh no no so that's working okay so that get request is working the output is there yeah okay good oh but i don't want it to be there and then let's go hx working fine. That API is working fine. It's returning that. Joke any. So here my question is, I do want to, HyperTalk is interesting, but we're not looking at that. Dog API, documentation. I don't want all breeds. Random image. Display multiple random images. Fetch. I 
feel like this is such a simple thing. Maybe I'm just doing the wrong request. Love like the explorations where something goes wrong right away. Alright, so just need after request. Or I just use a different API. Okay, I can get some images there. Maybe I'll do like chunks. What are some other? Let's try this. I wanted dogs, but I'll take Chuck Norris API. I'm gonna figure out the dog thing though. Okay, so that's working. So that's good. That's fine. That's what I'm looking for. Dev Chuck Norris. Okay, good. So that's there. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna need to figure out how to get that image to show up, uh, but that's a future problem. I wanna get the, I really, really wanna get the dog API working. Why are you returning? send just before it's sent may not cancel it send error okay what is the error though This is just a reference. No, it wasn't a reference specific issue because if I put the same thing over here, I think I get the same issue. Oh, 
Okay, so that's what it is. It doesn't have, the quest doesn't have. I wonder if it's, it looks like it's just specifically with that HTMX. Okay, interesting. So it's like impossible to do. I don't know if y'all are seeing this, but so I was having this issue uh, where I had, um, I'm trying to call this API with HTMX, but there's a cores issue and I can't actually grab it. I wanted to add since auto remote can save developer experience during hard fork, get HX on. The issue was that HX boost true attribute would add to the body tag. The solution was not to allow HX boost. Hold on. We're going to try this. So this is basically like the whole like on clicker or on things. Hey, how's it going? Hey, friendly mango. Welcome. I figured it out. I think I got it. We're going to see if this works. Um, welcome chat. I'm super excited to have you all here. Thank you for coming. Uh, so we're, if you're not sure what's going on, we're exploring HTMX. Uh, we're going to explore feature flags eventually, but right now we're just trying to get HTMX to work. Uh, so I'm going to try this and see if it fixes my problem. So basically this is like any time, it's like configuring the request. You're setting some headers in here. Hey, it worked. That's actually a very quick fix. That's not bad. So note to you, if you're using public APIs and you're using um, uh, HTMX, then that might be an issue for you. Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, so I actually want to, there was another API that I had here. Is there a cat API? I think I might cat API. Cats. <laughs> I love it. Uh, cats as a service. This makes me so happy. Um, all right. I don't want to have an API key. Come on. Don't make me sign up. I just want to. Here's what we're looking for. Oh, I forgot about API ninjas. Is there a dogs one? Dogs. Okay, we're just gonna use this instead, I think. Uh, come on. I don't wanna have an API. I don't, so I love fun APIs that don't require you to <laughs> Oh my god. This is fantastic. Just the silliest things. I love the internet so much. Come on, where's my cat API? Is this it? Do I need a key for this? I 
don't want to sign up. I don't want to. Can I get it here? Are you gonna force me to sign up? They are gonna force me to sign up. I just wanna be able to do a random API call. Public API, JSON API, public API. Try this API. Come on. I probably should, probably should load that. Team dogs. Try this API. Okay, so dogs is the one that I was at. What about cats? Cats. Try this API. Get a random image. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, do I just, if I do that, okay, it just always grabs a different one. So I'm gonna use this. This is gonna be our, this is gonna be our feature flag today. We're gonna set a feature flag <laughs> using, um, uh, using, um, hopefully using dev cycle. Maybe not today. This might be a, another one. Um, but we're gonna try and add like a really simple feature flag, uh, just using an environment variable or something of the sort, some sort of a config. Okay, I'm gonna create a new project, but I'm gonna add this in here first because, oh, so it is a public API. Bro, I wonder if it just doesn't work across the board. Let's go in here and create a new REPL that basic Node.js. This, what I want here is so that I can have environment variables. Is there like templates you can get? I feel like there must be REPL templates. In fact, I know there is templates. AI, no, I don't want this. I want website, React, JavaScript. Oh, I don't want React. Type grip, flask. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, so it's an express. Ugh. Okay, so whatever, this is fine. Spot medium, okay. Tailwind, public, what do we got here? Tailwind logo, so input CSS. Script.js, nothing in there. Index.js, yeah, so we're loading Express. Public pages, this is our API request. Da, 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 da. Uh, so we're putting the output in there. No canonical commands, dev file, path join. This is why I don't like JavaScript. It's, I mean, I don't dislike JavaScript, but it seems like a lot of work to get a basic website running. Browser. Okay. Okay. Over here. We have a thing. It's there. Index.html. Can probably do something in here. Let's clear out this. Clear this out. I don't want any of this stuff. I also don't need this for right now. Oops. Just need this. 
ba, ba, ba. we don't need this. We don't need this. We'll keep that. So we're gonna get rid of all of this. Let's the documentation. We don't need any of this. So I don't need that. And don't need this. And we're gonna change this to orange. Oh, purple actually. Are you gonna do it? Is it gonna work? I feel like it might not. I have to stop and start again. I have to stop and start again because then it's recompiling. In fact, I am almost positive it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we got nothing in there. So let's jump back over to our code that we had here. Blah, blah, blah. Where are we hiding? Okay, we don't need this anymore. Replit.com. Just want to grab. This. It's probably a much simpler way to have done everything that I did here. All right, so we want to grab this, so all of this. The, I love that the whole point of this is to make it more simple, and yet we need this to load a basic page so that I can use some other things that I want to use in here. I want to be able to use secrets, which are just environment variables, and I can't do that. Uh, oh, but this is good actually, because this will easily, more more easily, more easily, I suppose, allow for us to use um, the dev cycle JavaScript. Um, stuff. All right, let's jump back over in here. I'm gonna paste this for right now. Okay, body, body up there. We're gonna replace this. Basic one, self closing. This is the thing that annoys me. I'm just having to redo this all the time. Every time we gotta rebuild. Click me. What are we getting in our console? We're not getting an error now, which is good. Data, click this, 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 all of these things I get. Say hello. API get request. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Response div. Checks target. Go back to the docs. Mm, docs. 
Hey Chris, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. We're exploring HTMX and we're just about to add a feature flag, really basic one. Uh, Ajax dependency versus React API. All right, um, I want to load an image. I want to pull that image address. Click it to get URL expand. Okay. Yes. Yes. Initial page. This page is my content. I get, I get the idea that you can do these requests, but I want to swap those locally. I do what I'm looking to do using HTMX. Click target pen table for HTML. Click content. Yes, I want it to all be parented. No, I just want to grab out of the box swaps. I wonder if I go HTMX and get up. I always find it interesting to look in here. Swap the parent div ID area one. It should 
If anybody's following along and they know what I'm looking to do. So what I want to do is I want to, so right now, just so you know, so I need to switch that to just like a regular div so you can see here. So right now, what's happening, oh, wrong one. What's happening is when this loads again, click here and it's going to give me this like all of this and it's just sending this back as JSON and what I want to do is I want to actually like have this response I just want to grab this because I believe this image will actually work yeah that's super cute uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing with cat and then we're going to create our feature flag based around that. We might not get to this today because we're only 20 minutes. This might just be our exploration of, of HTMX. And then we'll continue this on the next stream. Okay. I've got to run a few minutes. Yes, yes. Ba, 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 ba. Well, I guess that's true. Oh, you know what? This is a nice thing. This is the nice thing about what I've got set up now is I can't. You're, you're absolutely right. That's working, that's good, fine, fine. Okay, I actually have this. I like this, all right, so. I was doing this the wrong way and I was trying to do too much directly here. So let's. Uh, but technically this is also an express does express toggle the answer is yes okay oh hold on yeah that should be returning something different oh no oh no no, no that's right okay so let's if, if we run that
I do a request? I mean, seems like overkill, but we're gonna do it anyways. I feel like over-engineering is the name of the game. Uh, request. Is it gonna be app get? I feel like it's gonna be app get again. Ooh, we are discovering things today, folks. We're playing around with Express. Oh, dang. Awesome. Amazing. I've been waiting for a package to get delivered, and it looks like it just got delivered. Amazing. Awesome. Some other messages, which is fine. Lots of stuff going on. Holy moly, I'm missing things right now. Okay, but this is not important. We need to close. Okay, I need to grab this because we're going to use this for our next stream. And I put this in here and cancel. I think I need to put them both in here and cancel them out. Send. 
Okay, that looks like it should work. Can't get in. Should move that. Can I just... Nope, can't do that. Maybe this will work. Five hundred. That's fine. I can deal with a five hundred error. Yes, did get request. Sync. Request, request. I'm gonna see if we can get this done. We've got a couple more minutes left before. Okay, here we go, take code users. Oh, okay, well that's much easier. Come on guys, app gate users. Okay, forget about this. Start that. We should get an error this time. I actually. Are you there? 
running there. Okay, so we got that. But I want to just get dot URL. returning things because it's not returning anything here. It's probably something to do with this response key here. Response body. So I don't actually want that to return JSON body. I actually just want that to return. Okay, so that's fine. Console log JSON parse output. like half HTMX, half Express now, which I'm kind of okay with. So uh, we're like an hour and a half in and we're going to, we're going to kind of pause, I think for like, this is part one um, of our kind of exploration here. So I will say uh, I'm very excited with this. Like we figured out how to make uh, like a public call with HTMX. It has to do with this Ajax on super simple, like ridiculously simple, like Ajax, farewell Ajax. Um, but now we are, uh, I'm going to delete this one now. Um, now we're trying to figure out how to implement a feature flag in here. And I think, so here's my solution. This is going to be the solution for the next video, uh, that I do, which I might do next week sometime because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So what we're going to do is we are going to implement a feature flag using our Node.js, um, SDK, there we go, um, into sort of this index.js, and then we're going to kind of use that with HTMX. I know this is kind of like half, we're not really adding feature flags into HTMX, but this is like phase one. I want to like, I get what, it, I, I'm getting the, the value proposition of HTMX, um, but now I want to actually figure out how I can like, I want to just get it working first and then we'll try and pare down some of like these express things. But so for the next stream, we're going to try and get it. And so basically we're going to set up a feature flag. So it's either cats or dogs, depending on like whether you like cats or dogs. Um, but I don't think that's going to be for today. Uh, I think we're going to save that for, um, for the next stream. Uh, because much as I love y'all hanging out, uh, I realize that everybody has lives outside of this, and it's a Friday afternoon for some of you. So, um, so that's gonna be our next dreams. This will be part one of our HTMX exploration. And again, I think we need to explore HTMX more than we need to explore Express, but I do also think that this is valuable if you're interested in exploring that. So, uh, so I think for now, uh, we're going to, we're gonna call it for today. Um, if you liked the stream, um, I'm gonna have this, I gotta rename this. Let's call this, uh, does it toggle HTMX? Uh, okay, I'm gonna save this, uh, or just saved it. Yeah, I did. Uh, and we're gonna come back to this next time. Uh, I'm gonna delete some of these other ones, delete that one. I've also got my Alpine JS one if you're interested in that. Um, but I think for today, we are going to, to call it um on today's does a toggle so the answer does a toggle not quite yet but i think i figured out how i can kind of implement an htmx project and have a toggle and i'm gonna have some fun with things a little bit later on so uh but this was good this is like a nice i've never touched htmx before also i've never really touched express before so um 
I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited to continue to jump into this kind of as we go through. Um, so in the meantime, if you want to check out DevCycle, uh, here's a website. Um, but otherwise, um, we're going to call it for today. Thank y'all so much for um, coming and hanging out with me for the last kind of hour and a half. And uh, looking forward to seeing you back here. Does it toggle? Uh, stay tuned for when that's going to be. Um, but uh, but excited to, to see you around the DevCycle community. See you next time. Bye-bye.